Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's Flip to Teacher Professional Learning video, we're going to go through a tool that Google has put out that I can see being useful for geography and also for visual arts. Uh, so let's take a look at what it is. It's called Lines. Now, if you go to lines.chromeexperiments.com, you'll uh, come to this page. And you've got two ways of using it. We're going to go through them, uh, through both of them. The first one is the drawing option. Now, the way that this works is the screen goes blank and you simply draw a line sum. Give it as some description on the screen using your mouse or your trackpad, just as you can see from that uh, little image there. So what I'm gonna do is draw that kind of a curve. What it does is it then searches through images that um, are stored in Google Maps, in Google Earth, and it will match whatever the line is to some kind of shape from around the world. So you can see it's mapped it here to uh, that's some kind of interchange road. If I was to do a different line like that, it will map it to, there's another interchange. It will give you, <clears throat> it will give you a variety of natural as well as built images. So you can see that looks like a mountain range of some sort, uh, Salta province in Argentina. Bottom left hand corner, it will always tell you where, and if you click on the uh, on the location name it will then take you to where that is in Google Maps as well so you do have that um, that option there so you can see this is exactly where we were looking at and I can now zoom out to get you know, greater context for what that was so that's the draw option let's go to the drag this one is a little bit different the drag op option uh, functions in a slightly different direction as you drag the mouse your cursor around it will pull up a whole range of images, satellite images, to suit the general trajectory of the line that you're taking. If I let go of that now, I've now got a range of options, uh, a range of images on the screen, so you might just do enough to have you know, three or four images on the screen, and you can see that some of those are built, some of those are natural. Now, how are you gonna use this, use this in the classroom? Uh, I could see this being used in geography uh, as, a, as a starter tool at the start of a geography lesson. Uh, have a student come up and draw a line or drag something on the screen, and then um, you know, they need to identify what it is. If you, you know, on your screen, work out where on the screen the um, the name of the place is, put some posters or something over that so they can't read it and, you know, see if they can work out where it might be, uh, what kind of landform it is. For visual arts, I could see this being used as some kind of stimulus, uh, a little bit like uh, Mr. Squiggle, if you remember who Mr. Squiggle was, if not Googling, and use this as some kind of stimulus, you know, looking at, let's draw a line, okay, what can we do with that line? It's given us this kind of a, uh, of a landform, Let, let's um, down here, let's let's draw a beach. There's a range of ways that you could that you could use it in the classroom. Something a little bit different. It's not a fully fledged app from Google. Uh, that's why it's in the Chrome Experiments domain. But something a little bit different, a little bit fun to play with. Hope that's been useful. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and don't forget for more helpful FTPL videos, head to c21teaching.com.au. Thanks very much.